Bereshit, Genesis 42. Now, when Yaakov saw that there was grain in Mitzrayim, Yaakov said unto his sons, Why do ye look one upon another? And he said, Behold, I have heard that there is grain in Mitzrayim. Get you down thither and buy for us from thence, that we may live and not die. And Yosef's ten brethren went down to buy grain in Mitzrayim. But at Benjamin, rather, but at Binyamin, Yosef's brother, Yaakov, sent not at with his brethren. For he said, lest perchance mischief befall him. And the sons of Yasharel came to buy grain among those that came. For the famine was in the land of Canaan, and Yosef was the governor over the land, and he it was that sold to all the people of the land. And Yosef's brethren came and bowed down themselves before him with their faces to the earth. And Yosef saw at his brethren, and he knew them, but made himself strange unto them, and spoke roughly unto them. And he said unto them, Whence come ye? And they said, From the land of Canaan to buy food. And Yosef knew at his brethren, but they knew not him. And Yosef remembered at the dreams which he dreamed of them, and said unto them, Ye are spies, to see at the nakedness of the land ye are come. And they said unto him, Nay, my lord, but to buy food are your servants come. We are all one man's sons. We are true men. Your servants are no spies. And he said unto them, Nay, but to see the nakedness of the land ye are come. And they said, Your servants are twelve brethren, the sons of one man in the land of Canaan. And behold, the youngest is this day with at our father, and one is not. And Yosef said unto them, That is it that I spoke unto you, saying, Ye are spies. Hereby ye shall be proved. By the life of Pharaoh ye shall not go forth hence, except your youngest brother come hither. Send one of you, and let him fetch at your brother, and ye shall be kept in prison, that your words may be proved, whether there be any truth in you, or else by the life of Pharaoh surely ye are spies." And he put them all together into ward three days. And Yosef said unto them the third day, This do and live, for I fear at Elohim. If ye be true men, let one of your brethren be bound in the house of your prison. Go ye, carry grain for the famine of your houses. But bring at your youngest brother unto me so shall your words be verified, and ye shall not die. And they did so. And they said one to another, We are truly guilty concerning our brother, in that we saw the anguish of his soul when he besought us, and we would not hear. Therefore is this distress come upon us. And Reuven answered them, saying, Spoke I not unto you, saying, Do not sin against the child, and ye would not hear? Therefore, behold, also his blood is required. And they knew not that Yosef understood them, for he spoke unto them by an interpreter. And he turned himself about from them and wept, and returned to them again, and communed with them, and took from them at Shimon and bound him before their eyes. Then Yosef commanded to fill at their sacks with grain, and to restore every man's money 
into his sack and to give them provision for the way. And thus did he unto them. And they laded their asses with at the grain and departed thence. And as one of them opened at his sack to give his ass provender in the inn, he espied at his money. For behold, it was in his sack's mouth. And he said unto his brethren, My money is restored, and lo, it is even in my sack. And their heart failed them, and they were afraid, saying one to another, What is this that Elohim has done unto us? And they came unto Eliakov, their father, unto the land of Canaan, and told him at all that befell unto them, saying, The man who is the Lord of the land spoke roughly to us, and took us for spies of at the country. And we said unto him, We are true men, we are no spies. We be twelve brethren, sons of our father. One is not, and the youngest is this day with at our father in the land of Canaan. And the man, the lord of the country, said unto us, Hereby shall I know that ye are true men. Leave one of your brethren here with me, and take at food for the famine of your households, and be gone, and bring at your youngest brother unto me. Then shall I know that ye are no spies, but that ye are true men. So will I deliver you at your brother, and ye shall traffic at in the land. And it came to pass, as they emptied their sacks, that, behold, every man's at bundle of money was in his sack. And when both they and their father saw the bundles of money, they were afraid. And Yaakov their father said unto them, Me have ye bereaved of my children. Yosef is not, and Shimon is not, and ye will take at Binyamin away. All these things are against me. And Reuven spoke unto his father, saying, Slay at my two sons, if I bring him not to you. Deliver him into my hand, and I will bring him to you again. And he said, My son shall not go down with you, for his brother is dead, and he is left alone. If mischief befall him by the way in the which ye go, then shall ye bring down at my gray hairs with sorrow to Sheol.